then the next emulator yeah you have the atari uh, 5200 uh, which is actually the same as the uh, atari 800 then you have the coleco emulator coleco vision game console if you remember that one is running quite good actually let's try uh, galaxian also with sound maybe we can try Donkey Kong I don't have any uh, keyboard support but with the, the joystick button and the 2 extra keys uh, it's enough at least to simulate what you need to start games Here also you have sound, if you can hear it in the video. That was the Koiko. Then you have the uh, uh, Odyssey emulator. So video pack computer as we called it in Europe in the past. Uh, uh, let's take uh, Acrobat. They also only one key needed. If you remember that computer. There's no sound on this one, but it's the same status as on the Tinsy. That's the video pack. Let's try another game maybe of this one. Like uh, this one, if you remember that game. And of Pac-Man. So that was the Odyssey emulator. Then we have the uh, Atari 2500 emulator that one you might see this uh, strange lines appearing uh, on the you see these these lines i don't know actually what the problem is uh, it's like this vga library is somehow some critical and some depending on what is actually displayed oh there is a mistake it can also be that i'm writing uh, outside the buffer i don't know it must be something stupid uh, I'm still debugging this, but it's a, it's a beginning. I think there are uh, much better emulators that have been already ported to that uh, system, I think. You see, that one has not the issue, so that's the strange thing. Uh, some games have the issue and some uh, don't have the issue, so that's where I'm a bit lost. Pac-Man. There's no sound that's like on the tin see. I did not optimize anything, I just recompile the code, uh, create a small framework and I just recompile the code as it was. Yeah, the last one I want to show is actually the Commodore 64 one, but this one I'm still uh, looking to have the sound on it. So here also I don't have any keyboard emulation, but I have just a trick to actually load some ROMs. It takes some time to decompress the game. I'm not sure it's actually running full speed that one. I think it's a bit the boundary and unless somebody already optimized the code uh, so 1942 game seems to be the proper speed but without the sound it's difficult to judge so as you can see you can play the game it seems to work fine So uh, yeah, that's it for the status of the project. Uh, I don't think one day we will have an Amiga emulator on this uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. But yeah, the goal was just to have yet another microcontroller supported uh, into the project. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's it for the video. Let's uh, finish with Blue Max maybe. 
Last Call 64 game. The code is available on the GitHub, so you can uh, try it. The binaries are also there. You can maybe try to optimize uh, everything if you want uh, to contribute to the project. Uh, I think uh, it's a work in progress, like many things I do actually. Never go to the end. The only emulator that was working quite well on the TNC 4.1 again, that was the Amiga emulator. Uh, the rest has been really a quick port actually. That's it for the video. Thank you and I hope to see you soon.